So you want to know the best social media platforms to promote your business on? Well, you're in the right place, so stick around. Welcome to another episode of Fearless in PowerTube. I'm Sharon Koenig of FearlessPursuits.com and this is the place to be to create a better version of you. On this channel, I create videos all about intentional living, online entrepreneurship, and of course, mindset. You're in the right place. If you're a coach or consultant and you like to promote your business online to get clients, and you wanna know what the best social media platform is for you to get prospects and clients online. You're the type of person who wants to ditch the nine to five and have your own business. You wanna have more freedom and you want to scale your business online. So that's why intentional living is so important because you realize that you want more time and more money to do the things that you wanna do. So obviously, you wanna scale your business online because you want to prospect, get leads, get clients, and make bank. So we realize that when we're online promoting our business, we have to know the right social media platform for us so that we can draw to us the ideal clients. Working with my clients, one of the first things that we talk about is who your ideal client is. It's the very beginning process because I believe that if you don't really know who your ideal client is, you won't know where they're hanging out. Which brings me to the next point. You need to know exactly where they're hanging out. And understand that my clients are not hanging out online in the same places that your ideal clients may be hanging out online. Where are your peeps? Where does your tribe hang out? So we realize that there's a lot of social media platforms. We have Facebook and we have Instagram, we have Pinterest and we have LinkedIn. There's so many other social media platforms that you can actually be on to get clients interested in you, but we won't go into those because I believe it's on the order of around 60. So let's focus on the top social media platforms. So obviously you know who your ideal client is and now we're getting you thinking about their habits and where they might be hanging out. So we realize that there's a lot of testing that goes into knowing what the best social media platform is to prospect and get leads so that you can get clients. And it's not going to be the same for each of us. So we realize that your clients may be of a certain age, right? And when you're starting to think about an age group, maybe between the ages of 25 and maybe 35 or so, you might start thinking about Instagram, for example. That's a place where they like to hang out and even Snapchat. So that would be a place where you can experiment. The one piece of warning I would like to give to you is to not try too many of these social media platforms all at once. With the concept of intentional living, we as online entrepreneurs who want more freedom, we don't want to be overwhelmed and we don't want to be bogged down with too many social media platforms, which is why I want you to take a look at just honing your focus in on just one. This is really important when we start thinking about how we're going to be visible online. Talking about Pinterest, for example, that demographic is mostly female. Although there are a lot of males that are coming on board and realizing that it is a tremendous place to be marketing your, your, for your business. But realize that if you are an entrepreneur and you are really focused in on attracting more females, maybe Pinterest is where you should be. Is your ideal client a very visual person? Then maybe Instagram is where they're hanging out. That might be what you really enjoy. Maybe you don't like all of the notifications that Facebook has, and maybe you like the vibe of Instagram better. So that might be the place that is best for you, but thinking about where your clients are is what's really important here. If they are like you and they are more visual, then Instagram might be where you wanna hang out. Talking about Facebook brings up a whole lot of issues and concerns for a lot of people. There's been issues of 
spam, and there's issues of being very distracted, and algorithms seem to be a lot of concern for a lot of people, for good reason, because we realize as intentional entrepreneurs, we wanna focus our energy on something that really feels good to us, so that we're not overwhelmed and feeling like we're hustling to prospect and get clients. But a lot of people are really enjoying that relationship marketing aspect that Facebook has. And if you really wanna make it big on Facebook, then you've really gotta know that you have to build relationships. That's first and foremost at the top of your list if you are a very sociable type person. With Facebook, you have a lot of different options to network. You have your timeline, you have your business page, and you have groups. A lot of people really enjoy networking in groups, but it does become a little exhausting over time when you realize that you have to become visible, which means you have to be seen every day. You have to become helpful. You actually have to make friends with people, which is what a lot of people are turned off by. So again, if you're a very sociable person and your ideal client is there, they're socializing as much as you are, that might be where you go. But again, we are dealing with some algorithms when we're talking about our business page and our timeline. Although the timeline is a tremendous opportunity because of its organic nature. In other words, you could promote your business in a social way relating to people with posts. And in that way, people are attracted to you. And finally, we have LinkedIn. LinkedIn is a whole different animal and they're a lot more professional there for you. So if you're more of a direct type personality like I am, you might really enjoy being on LinkedIn. People will probably come to you and offer you their services. So just realize that it is a networking platform and people are very direct there and they have absolutely no problem offering their services and their products to you which is great if you are of the same mindset because you can do the exact same thing without anyone feeling bad. If you did something like that on Facebook, they might unfriend you, for example. So they are two different animals and you really should consider your ideal client, their behaviors, their personality, as well as yours. And now that I'm talking about your personality, I think this is really an important thing that a lot of people don't talk about when we're talking about the best social media platform to prospect to, and get our leads. The fact of the matter is, is that we don't want to be overwhelmed. We don't want hustle. We want to be able to become visible. That way we go from unknown to unforgettable. And in this way, we have to be on the social media platforms and we have to play the game, right? Because it's all about networking. Now, if you've been following me for any length of time, you know I've been in business and online for almost 30 years. Yep, that's right. My online business started way back in 1996. So I know a thing or two about networking and the different nature of networking and how it all works. So if you are new to being online and networking online, you really have to know what each of the platforms are all about, what you can expect from the people there, and how to relate with people. But the one thing I would like to sum this all up for is know your personality, what you like, and how you like to relate with people. Because the bottom line is, is that when you are networking with people, you've got to feel good about it. You've got to be able to promote your business. You've got to be able to sell your offers so that you can get more leads, more clients, and make more money, right? So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos about intentional living, online entrepreneurship, and mindset, be sure to subscribe and click the bell so that you get notified of fresh videos when I upload them. This is Sharon Koenig, I'm out.